Oh my god, guys, this is amazing news. We've got Jeremy Irons cast to play Lex Luthor, the wonderful villainous Jeremy Irons playing Lex Luthor. That's great. I mean, maybe he's a little bit too old, but still fantastic. I didn't even think of Jeremy Irons as Lex Luthor. And Jesse Eisenberg as Alfred, hilariously perfect. That bumbling, neurotic, comic relief kind of character, way too young, but still perfect for Alfred. So just when I think that Zack Snyder doesn't know what he's doing with casting, he turns around and does this and restores all my faith in him. This is perfect. I... What? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. No. Why would you do that? Why? This... <sighs> Hang on, Jeremy Irons is a brilliant classical actor, and you're casting him as Alfred? What a waste! What a waste! That seems like a waste of his enormous talent. And Jesse Eisenberg as the dominant, imposing, billionaire genius? Yeah, Jesse Eisenberg isn't that kind of guy. He can play a genius, but not the Lex kind of genius. He might have worked if he was Lex on Smallville, okay, but... <sighs> I feel like a massive idiot. I feel like a massive idiot because I've been working really hard on this Man of Steel Final Verdict video where I'm defending that movie, defending Zack Snyder, defending DC. Almost finished. It's a long video. And now this news comes out and I don't even want to put that video out anymore. I feel like an idiot that I've been working hard to defend these bigger idiots. I mean, of course, I'll put the video out because I spent so much time on it, but I feel like the world's biggest idiot for having faith in these guys now. That's how I feel. And and you know the worst part is I've been re-watching all the old Marvel movies, all the Phase 1 Marvel movies, to get ready for my next What It Should Be video. And I've been having a great time. Those are such fun movies. And you can see going back that they knew what they were doing right from the very beginning. It's, it's the exact opposite of how I feel about DC. DC just crushes your hopes at every step of the way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump ship. I'm gonna officially jump ship in the cinematic universe. I'm going over to Marvel. I'm done with DC. I don't care about DC anymore. I'm finished with them. I mean, I kind of have to see the movie when it comes out, but you know, I was gonna like be there opening night, first one in line. I was gonna have to like go completely dark off the internet so I avoid spoilers and all that because it comes out a couple weeks later in Australia as it does there in America and elsewhere. Not gonna bother with that anymore. If I catch spoilers online, I don't care. And Will I show up opening night? Nah, I'll just go whenever I have the time and I'll see it once because I don't care. I'm on Marvel's side now because they actually listen to the fans. They actually give the fans what they want. They made one misstep, which was the Mandarin, and they're trying to fix it. See, they actually care. They actually care about their characters, care about their fans, and they listen. See, that's not happening in DC. I mean, sure, there are some people saying that, yeah, maybe Jesse Eisenberg will be okay. He kind of looks good bald, but this is strike three for me. You know, Ben Affleck was strike one. Gal Gadot was strike two. Now this is strike three and four that they could miscast both of these roles, although Alfred isn't such a big deal. I don't know what's going on over there. Just time and time again, they keep dropping the ball and I just can't place faith in them anymore. I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry. I know this sounds really depressing because I am really depressed about it and it hurts me to say it because I'm a big DC fan, but but this is but but this is like a, a George Lucas Star Wars prequel situation. You know, if, if you're a fan of Star Wars, you just have to emotionally detach yourself from what's happening because you can't constantly have your hopes crushed. That's what the DC Cinematic Universe is doing right now. So I've checked out. I'm done. Disconnected from the project. I don't care what they do anymore. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. You have broken what could not be broken. Hope is broken. <laughs>